as you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we continue our adventure to find Zelda. But to do that, we need to get into the Temple of Time, which is blocked off. So we'll be exploring more of the Great Sky Island and checking out shrines like this one over here. As you can see, we do have access to the Sheikah Slate, so I should be able to mark this with a pin. Pretty useful. Uh, did that do anything? Hard to tell. The sun is setting, so it's a little difficult to see, but man, what a beautiful view. So I'm just excited to hop back out and play more of this game. So I guess we should run this way. Okay, not only too much water to uh, jump down to here, so just gonna be careful about where we jump. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Luckily, Link can handle quite a far fall, but uh, can't be too far. He can still take fall damage, so just gotta be careful sometimes until we get some kind of uh, glider or something. And ooh, look at this, we get a couple of arrows. Arrow, a common arrow, its shaft was covered from the wood of a sturdy tree. That's gonna be so useful eventually, so let's take as many arrows as we can. Haven't found a bow just yet, of course, but I'm sure we'll stumble across one soon, but there's so many around here. I definitely want to sort of scavenge up as many of those as possible. But I am excited because, you know, those are the kind of things we'll be able to sort of get up and sort of moving a little bit faster in this game than we did Breath of the Wild, just because we know the basics. So having that advantage will be really helpful for the beginning of the game, but I do see you over here, sneaking in the tall grass, can I get you? And this is where I'm a little curious, if I take a picture of you with the Sheikah Slate, is it like Breath of the Wild where I do need to, ah, wait, <laughs> there we go, there we go, very nice. Um, They dropped something, where did it go? Right here, it's a bow. So yeah, do I need to take a picture to log everybody like I did the Sheikah Slate? I guess we'll see you soon enough, but for right now, we have the old wooden bow. A wooden bow from the olden days. It's built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. So we can attack with a bow. Equip a bow to attack enemies from afar. We can press the R and hold, and then we just release it to fire a shot. So we have all those extra arrows. We have five more here and a soldier construct horn. Feels pretty cool, whoa. The gong just rung, 7 p.m. Oh, there's so many more arrows, dude. Wow, there's a ton of them. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's be quiet. Let's try out. There is an enemy over there. If we can just... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, they're coming for me. Ready? Oh, I hit an enemy in the head for, with an arrow to hit it two times. Critical hit damage. That was so cool. So, gotta be careful because my thing is badly damaged. I'm just gonna finish him off with it. That was very cool. Okay, so I get a wooden stick and a couple more little pieces of stuff. Man, I love the combat. I'm so glad we're back to playing a game like this. Uh, I don't see too much over here. I guess we're supposed to go across the water there. Okay, let's get to it then. Going to uh, just jump into the water. And I guess we're good to head up this way. Yeah, we're making our way to our first shrine. But is there anything, ooh, over here. There might, might be some extra things to search. We get another zone I charge. Cool. Okay. So it is interesting, it looks like we do have, of course, some more elements to Breath of the Wild on the bottom right. Things like, you know, the time of day, the weather. It'll also show us the temperature. Whoa, oh, we have new mushrooms. And how much noise we're making, too. So a lot of stuff like that to keep in mind. We got the mushroom. A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere, but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. So that's really cool. We've seen plenty of mushrooms in Breath of the Wild. So if we can get a couple more here, that'd be great. So I got that mushroom. And a tree branch down there. I think we'll explore some of those spots later. I think for right now it is pretty important just to stay on the main path. As much as we can, like just don't veer too far off so we can keep making progress with the game. What just happened? Okay, that's not what I wanted. Whoops. Here, get across like that. There we go. Oh, what is this over here though? Unfortunately, I, oh, I cannot make that jump. I don't see any other way to really climb up it. So that is definitely something we'll save for later. In the meantime, though, what is going on with this? Anything cool down here? We do have at least a little bit more rush room. I'll get this one. I'll leave that other one for maybe some other time. We don't need to get every single one of them. We'll be finding plenty of them, like I said, throughout our adventure. But I can. Oh, get up here. We're so, so close. The Uko Shrine. Whoa. These look so cool. So let's examine our first shrine of the game. The stuff looks different than the shrines we saw in Breath of the Wild. Ooh. I wonder if they'll play any different too. I mean, I had a lot of fun with the shrines in the first game. Some of them pretty difficult though.
Oh, wow. It's so desolate in here. Oh, it's you. Oh. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with a light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. <laughs> now then, extend your hand. Sure. <laughs> Whoa. Are we getting like a new ability? This is so cool. Whoa. We got the ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Whoa, so it's sort of like, what was it? Cryonosis? Mm. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use ultra hand and receive the blessing from the shrine. That is so interesting. So we could use this ability, activate the ability with your in your right hand. So it looks like we don't have oh, the ability to create the Uko Shrine. Oh man. Okay, so the possibilities here are sort of rushing through my mind. This is so amazing because I guess we don't have the runes of the Sheikah Slate because we don't have that, we have the Pura Pad. So things like Cryonosis and the little bombs, we won't have those in this game, I don't think leaving us for tons of options. So I don't see much here except for this right here. So I can grab this and pretty simply move it around like we could with some of the uh, abilities in Breath of the Wild, but I don't see anything down that way. But obviously that's gonna be pretty useful for getting our crossings like that. We can just use the environment to our advantage all the time. So can I use that to get across to here? You can see this gap is too big. So I'm pretty sure what it wants me to do. Yeah, I can attach it to this. This is wild. Okay, so attach. There you go. It's like a little glue. That is so funny. All right, now we can just move this entire thing over. There's gonna be so many possibilities with that. That's crazy. All right. And then we want to rotate it. Oh, wow, and we can sort of, let's see, vertical rotation. Yeah, I wanna bring it up a little bit. And then it's a little difficult. I feel like I need a third axi to sort of, uh, rotate this on, but you know what? That'll work for now. Um, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> so I would have to get used to the controls a little bit, but I'm gonna grab this, move it, and then push it forward, rotate a little bit like this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. And I think that's good. Let's just wrap it. Perfect. So it's a little, it's a little bit of a scary one, but we can get through it. There you go, we did it. And ooh, there's a chest up there. So most shrines do have chests in them. If it's anything like the original game. So I think we're safe to grab this and use it as a platform up there too. Uh oh, um, maybe. What I might need to do here is if we rotate it and then not like that. Okay, not like that either. See, I wish there's a vertical and a horizontal, but we sort of, okay, well, <laughs> this is maybe not the most preferred way to do it. I would like to sort of spin it and the, there's the x-axis, the y-axis, and then the z-axis. Darn, okay. Um, I can unstick them now. So now that it's up here like this, this might be a good opportunity to grab and then unstick it. Whoa, that's neat. That is so neat. So what I would like to do, just drop it, let it fall. There we go. So like making little adjustments like that might be our best option. And obviously, this is gonna take some time. I'm not gonna be super efficient with it straight away, but let's glue it all back together. And then get back up here. Get it as, no, nah, no, okay. I thought that was gonna hurt me. I got so scared. Um, I can't quite get it up high enough, but if we rotate it, there we go. Okay, I don't wanna do much more than that. That's where I can get a lot closer. And then drop it. Perfect, well, sort of. Um, I should be able to sneak down with that, right? If I just pop down like this. There we go, we finally solved it. So let's open up this treasure chest and see what's in inside our first shrine chest. 
We have some amber, a fossilized resin with a caramel-esque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. That is gonna be super useful. So there we go. Anything more to do around here? Obviously, we'll have to look all over the place if we wanna make sure we find every secret. And I'll be trying my best to do that. I really don't wanna leave anything sort of waiting for us. So you can see those other things here. If we choose, we have things like this, but they're sort of attached to the wall, but that might be a good thing. We'll have to see what our options are, because what's to deal with this? It's like a rail almost. So maybe we could use that to ride to the other side. And what about these? I could grab those if I was a little bit closer. So, what I think we need to do here, hmm. Okay. Sorry, I'm really trying to think this through. What I think we need to do, can I freeze stuff in the air? I don't think so. So maybe, how would I use that? Oh, you know what? I'm thinking about this wrong. I thought I had to get on top of there. I don't. What I should do then, is there a chain I can take? I don't see one, but maybe there'll be one behind here. Uh, not quite, but who needs it, right? Um, I don't think I need the chain, as long as I can attach this. Unless I can really take that. Come on, uh, pull it, pull it, pull it. I don't think I can. Um, so, I'm just gonna try to attach this to here. It's gonna be a little bit more rigid than those ones, but if we attach just like that. Whoa, 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 hey, wait a minute. Rotate it, go like this. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna try to hook that on to here. And that should work, right? There it goes, there it goes, get on tight. <laughs> or hop on tight, I don't know. We're just gonna make sure we don't fall off. There's no seatbelts on this thing. And jump, whoa! <laughs> that is so cool. Man, the possibilities are so huge for that. This really is like the old ability, but adds so much more. Okay, well, I think we've made it to the end of the shrine. I'm just taking a quick look around to make sure there's no treasure chest hidden like behind it or anything. I don't think there's a way to get up there. Maybe I'm wrong, but I really didn't see anything. So, well, there'll probably be some kind of indicator on whether or not we got all the chests. For right now, let's finish this shrine. All right. I can't believe it. This game is so awesome already. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. So you can see it's the Hylians and the Zanai. And what do we get this time? Whoa! That is intense! Uh. Oh, that fought off some of the evil that has corrupted Link's arm. The Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. And that gives us at least a full health restore. I think it's just like, of course, the previous game where if we earn up enough, we can increase our health and stamina. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength that you seek. Well, thank you. And we're back outside, so our first shrine is completed. Oh, and it's you again. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. Then, you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pura Pad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Well, I use it for this one, so I'll use it for the next one too. The scope and pins. You distant things and mark them with pins. So we can press R and place it with a pin, which we already did, we're one step ahead of you. But we're back here at the Great Sky Island. I don't need the one pin, it looks like it went away, but I think, where was it? Way out there, how are we getting up to that one? I mean, maybe we're not supposed to get to every single one of them right now, but if I just do see any, uh, we'll definitely prioritize those. So I think this one, that one looks a lot easier to get to from where we currently are. Is there anything more? Obviously, this game, it's pretty important to look out into the horizon and sort of mark where you may need to go next. Because if not, there's just so much of the game that it's very easy to get overwhelmed and end up just sort of 
not making too much progress. So I think those are the only two shrines I see. So I think those are the two that we'll prioritize. I think we should go to the one that seems a little bit more simple to get to, that one, instead of going all the way up there for now. We'll save that for later. And I guess for right now we jump into the water. We. Okay, let's get to it. So we wanna to get to the blue one over there. But now with our new ability, maybe we can make our way over with the railing. Because the whole hard part about that is we can't really get over there very easily. But now with this railing, just like we saw in that shrine, there might be a way to make a contraption of some sort to get over there. And you know, let's make the most of our, our climbing here. Get at this surface. Of course, Link can climb, so it's definitely worth taking advantage of. Can make some nice shortcuts. And look at all of this. So, we can definitely make something. I think we just want to do what we did in the shrine, where we attach this. I need to rotate it. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, it's sort of working. <laughs> attach it there. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. That's not going to work. I thought, okay. Hold on. Pick up my one stick. Use this. Grab it. I need to unstick it. This is so tricky. Because there's no way to really do diagonally. There is, it's a little picky. It's weird. Wouldn't work. It doesn't work exactly how I expected it to. So let's rotate this again. There we go. Just so that it actually matches up with this. And then we might need to push it a little. Oh no, here we go. I want to duck down <laughs> lower center of gravity here because this is going to be a crazy ride. Oh man, this is so cool. Look at us go. This is a good time to also scout out some different things. But we made it. This is great. Okay, so we're on sort of a new section of the island here. And it's 7 a.m. now. So I guess we spent the whole night adventuring in that shrine. So why is there a gong that plays at 7 p.m. and 7 a.m.? What changes? Just to find out. But there is, ooh, is this a new weapon? The stone axe. You can't carry any more whip melee weapons. Why does it say that, though? I haven't picked one up. Usually doesn't tell us. So I'm gonna toss this tree branch and take the stone axe. That's so odd. And it's so glowy too. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Why does it have that blue glow? Huh. I think I might save it just in case it's important for some kind of like quest or something. You never know, right? So uh, in the meantime, I know that, oh wait, there you are again. Rahau, Raho, something like that. Oh, okay, I thought that was the enemy over there. I think I'm in the clear. Hey, how are you doing? You're just chilling out here? Raru, that's what it was, sorry. <laughs> I'm very sleepy. <laughs> I see that they're still at work, even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were very fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. Hmm. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they perform it still, is disquieting to me. Yeah, they're really hard workers. Hmm. I am troubled by the sight of the construct constructs we created. They still thrive to fulfill their purpose, even when anyone who would benefit is gone. Hmm. To see them toil away still, it grieves me. Hmm. Okay, so I just wanted to see if we kept talking to them when they give us new stuff. Um, the reed, but not quite eventually, just sort of goes away. Uh, but we do get a bundle of wood, a portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it, which will be very useful later on. Um, especially as we're looking for more food and stuff, we can get another zone I charge. And inside of here, I wonder, I could of course bash it open, but what if I were to drop it from a really high height? There we go, awesome. So we're able to get a couple of arrows out of that. Nothing too crazy, but definitely useful. So let's talk to our little robot friend. Um, and there's an, another axe. Oh, that's useful. Um, once again, if I don't need the tree branches, we can just toss them off the side of the island. <laughs> Somebody's gonna make use of it way down there, I guess. Um, we can talk to you. Fix your gaze forward. Face it head on. Hmm? Pardon me. I was absorbed in my woodcutting. Are you here for woodcutting too? Woodcutting? Woodcutting is the practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined to assemble platforms. You can also chop them down to further to make wood. Lumber has many uses. That is why I come here daily to chop wood. And yet, I still find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. This is why you may have heard me muttering to myself, fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Ah, I apologize. I've been rambling for some time. 
There's an axe I no longer need over there. It is yours to use if you want to do some wood cutting. Which we already have. Oh, you still have wood cutting to do? Yes, I do. I mean, I said not, no, not really, but ah, I see. My apologies. There's an axe I no longer need over there. Okay, so basically what we can do, just like that robot said, we can knock down trees in this game. So we can start knocking them over, and ooh, we get ourselves some very useful acorns. Often found on the ground near trees, squirrels adore this nut, so you may have a competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. And I think there's some really useful meals you can make with acorns, so definitely worth obtaining. We'll knock down one more tree, but we wanna save them some for them, right? They're working out on the board cutting. We don't wanna compete with a little robot friend. So that can be used for a lot of things. Obviously, we can uh, use this as a platform, but we can also knock this even further to get a bundle of wood, which we've already found out is very useful for starting fires. Is there anything else around here before we keep moving forward? Each little section of island could have tons of things to find, so I think it's just worth poking around while we have the opportunity. But it looks like I'm not seeing too much. At least not on this side. Anything down there? Not really. And what does make it a little bit easier if you're willing to sort of waste the durability is you can... Oh no, it doesn't work. I thought that if you did this, I would knock all the apples down just from one or two hits. But if you do knock the full tree down, it will knock down the apples, which might be a little bit easier than climbing it up to you, I suppose. Oh, we got some more sky streams up here and some more apples. I find it easier just to do it this way though. And that island looks peculiar. It looks like there might be some stuff to find up there. So definitely worth investigating at some point. I don't see too much on the top of there though. And that's probably the way we'll have to come back to uh, get to the one trend, but look at this. How did I see this before? I guess you really could combine enough elements and make your own raft, but, whoa, okay, don't drop it on me. <laughs> Where would I need that? I guess maybe over here? Okay, so I don't think I can make this jump all on my own. What I might need to do here is actually use some of those locks that we've been cutting down. So this is a whole thing. I'm gonna pick this one up because of course, over here is the shrine I'm trying to get to. Oh, you know what? I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. This is so cool. The more we play this game, the more I'm falling in love with it. We wanna attach this like that. Nice. And then pick this up. And we could go extra with it and uh, try to get more of a bridge, but this should be enough if we're careful about it. Got it, there we go, perfect. And I do see these floating platforms around. What is up with this? Huh. It looks like a material we might be even able to climb up. It is. And can I come to the top? I can. And then can I just move it? Uh, I don't think so. That's not really working. Maybe if I wasn't on top of it. Yeah, whoa, okay. We can do something with that. So what if I put it here? And then, is there another one somewhere? What is this? Oh, it's like a broken pillar. I think there's another one somewhere. I feel, I feel like we just missed it, but, oh, there's some fish in the water. Oh, I might actually try to get one. Oh, got it! We got an ancient arowana, a lively fish that hasn't changed much since ancient times. Its nutritious meat can restore a bit of health. That's awesome. So, obviously, fish are gonna be really helpful when it comes to uh, making meals that can restore our health. Thought that was another enemy, got a little scared for a moment, but we can walk up here. Hey, shh, quiet, I am engaged in hunting. Hunting? Yes, I hunt wild creatures that inhabit the forest. Hmm? I did not remember seeing you here before. This is a ranger construct. We constructs fulfill several roles. One is to provide any necessary explanation to newcomers such as yourself. Other constructs you meet will be able to answer questions you may have about other subjects. My specialty is hunting. The hunt is to dispatch wild creatures. Many of them dwell within this forest. They are highly nutritious to organic life. They are also extremely wary. A hunter must not make noise. Crouching is essential for silence. Crouch allows you to move quietly. A bow can be used to strike from afar. Aiming for weak spots is best. It will give you. I will give you the bow placed over there. Use that as you please. Okay, well that's great. So we're gonna pick up some arrows and this time we get an old wooden bow. Okay, I thought it would be a, be a new one, but um, we can equip that. Uh, 
I guess, from here? Did I do the wrong thing? How do I switch to the bow? I guess I should have read that a little bit more. No, 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 I don't. Whoops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm now on fire. No, wait. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. I'm the worst hunter ever already. <laughs> I just wanted to equip the bow really quickly. Um. Oh man, okay, now I'm a little confused. Uh. Oh, it was a ZR button and then we can equip it. Whoops. So if we were really quiet, if we ducked down just like that, we made a bunch of noise to sort of get their attention before, I should. Oh no, I missed him. Darn. Okay, well, it's a little difficult. We'll have some more chances later on, I'm sure. I see that your prey escaped you. Would you like some tips on hunting? Let's hear him. The essential first step in bringing down the prey is to crouch and approach quietly and not loudly whistle at them. A long distance weapon such as bow also works to maintain stealth. Do not worry if you forget these lessons. You can review them from the system option on the pause menu. Very nice, so open the system menu. You can, you can check control, save, or adjust game options. Very cool. Oh, and there's special controls? Oh, wow, okay, so that's where we can get some more information on some other things. That's useful then, and of course, like options and stuff. Nothing too crazy though, so uh, I think we'll keep with this. You may fail at first, but keep trying. I'm certain you can do it with do it with practice. Okay, well, hopefully they'll show up again soon. <laughs> Sorry I missed, but it's okay. So we're just gonna slice at these. Do we get anything? They didn't have anything. Um, but yeah, we're looking for that platform. I got so distracted by all that, but there's still plenty more to do here. So if I go and uh, throw this, that didn't do too much, but should just build a chop at it. Oh, we'll get some arrows. Oh, hey, wait, okay. <laughs> I panicked, but I guess it's one way to get you. Um, we get some raw meat. Meat obtained from animals in plains and forests. You can eat it raw, but cooking it will make it more delicious and nutritious. I always feel bad at attacking the little animals, but I mean, it's sort of important for the game, so I'm, I'm just sort of focused on doing that for now. Okay, let's pick this up. Boom, just like we did before, we can break it open, get a couple more arrows out of it. Arrows can be harder to come by in some parts of the game, so if we can stock up now and just use them when we need them. That can be nice. I think, I'm sure, later on, just like the original game, we might be able to, uh, what's it called? We might be able to buy some. So it looks like, yeah, there's some platforms we can, uh, uh, whoa, 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 that is not what I meant to do. I'll go down there with that one soon, but if I could borrow this one real quick and bring it all the way to the other side, I wanna get to the other island. So, uh, if it lets me. Oh, will it? It will, it will, okay. We're getting stuck on a bunch of stuff, but I can maybe get it over. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to hurt you. <laughs> they were all bundled up over there. Yeah, I don't see any others, so let's just use this to get across to this island, because I'm really curious to see what's in that building. I already see a treasure chest in there, so this is really what I like to do in this game, is just sort of uh, satiate my curiosities. Okay, perfect. So I can get up here, and we'll take a good look around this little side island. This is so neat. So let's just run straight in for now. Search some of this, get another zone eye charge. And there's a chest waiting for us inside. All right. Amber, okay, so we get some more amber just like we did in our shrine earlier. But now I can uh, break some stuff open. I can just pick this up, uh, give it a throw. Might not get too much out of it, but always worth checking. I wonder, is there even gonna be rupees in this game? Imagine if it didn't have rupees at all. Okay, I'm not seeing too much around here, but it's, you know, worth checking. I think we're good though. I'll climb up here really quickly just to make extra sure, but it looks like we just got some amber out of this one, which we'll definitely be using at some point. But there isn't too much more to do with then. And I should, oh no. Uh, should I die faster? What happens now? I did not mean to do that. Okay, we, we end up right back here. We do lose a heart of health for that, unfortunately, but we can always get it back. Oh, and there's that dragon again. Can I mark the dragon? I don't think I can. I placed the pin on them. The pin's gonna stay there. Uh, how do I remove the pin? Not like that. Uh, there you go. So, I guess I want to work on this. If I could unstick, perfect. We will try to look around a little bit more. There might be some other stuff to get to but I think I wanna move this all the way back over <laughs> so that we can get down to that other platform. But you can see there's more of these in the distance. So these will be pretty crucial for getting to where we need to get to. Why is the game getting so foggy? I'm not quite sure. 
Well, like I said before, this is exactly how I sort of opt to play this kind of game, is I like to explore and really get detailed. Of course, we'll try to get to our main objectives as often as we can. Right there should be fine. Uh, but also exploring and really just understanding everything there is to find and enjoy in this game is really important to me too. So I wanted to try to swim over to some of these guys and catch one, but I swam away too fast. Oh, I guess there was something I could take there. Ah, oh, I could have maybe gotten one of the fish. Hard to tell. Um, but I can at the least get over here, grab a couple of apples. There we go. Next time we're at the fire, I, I should probably cook up some stuff. But is there anything else around here? It looks like maybe a couple of tree branches in the ground over this way. Or what are these? Stam bulb, a wild plant with bulging roots often found in cooler climates. It contains nutrients and increase endurance. Cook it to restore stamina. Whoa, okay. That's nice. So, I guess we're getting something. Here's some more stam bulbs. Wasn't expecting that too much. So, you know, a couple materials here and there. Can I pick up stuff off the ground from this? This little bit of rubble? I guess not. It's not a ton to find on this, uh, Little island, but definitely worth investigating regardless. And are these sky shrooms? No, these are different. These are stamella shrooms. A nutritious mushroom chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release its stamina restoration properties. So yeah, a lot of things that'll help us restore stamina. That'll be great if we're in the middle of a climb or starting to fall. We can use uh, stamina stuff like that to help restore it. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Just jump in. <laughs> okay, I was trying to sneak up on them. It didn't quite work. What if I were to very casually swim over? Whoa, yeah, they're jumping out of the water when I do that. I can get some more ancient arowanas. Cool. Ready, and, ah, couldn't quite get you. It was close, it was close. Okay, I don't wanna spend too much time in the water, because I might end up drowning. So I need to move this. I need to get a little bit closer. It'll turn green when I can actually grab it. Uh, and that should be good enough to get up there, and I hope, yeah, I can climb up there with that. Nice. And we're back to the adventure. So we got a little distracted there, but I think now, I mean, I still have some cooked apples too. So maybe I shouldn't get too carried away with, you know, cooking some more, but where are my cooked apples? Uh, oh, they're on food. So I have my baked apple, which actually restores a heart, or two thirds of a heart. So I'll do that. And that should be good enough for now. Hmm. So we did a bit of hunting. Now we can run out this way and uh, continue our adventure. There's a couple more of those animals if we wanted to hunt them. Oh, and there's a different one. There's a little bird over there. It looks like an eagle or something. I could try going for them. Whoa, hey! There you go, I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> Pretty quick with the fish so far, which is nice. The fish are usually the harder things to catch. Okay, I see, ah, leave me alone. Oh, that scared everybody away. Good going, good going. <laughs> All right, whoa, wait a minute, I think, this creature is a threat. Yeah, they're sort of afraid of the little bird there, so. I hope they keep that in mind. I mean, most of them. Could I hop on top of one of them? I feel like that's something you can do with some of the animals, right? Is you can hop on top of them and ride them. I should try that soon. Maybe if we sneak up behind it, that'd be so cool. And it's 7 p.m. again. Spending so much time exploring. I don't see too much going on around here. Like, this little spot's to check you out, but it doesn't seem like they have anything for me, so. I think for right now, we should talk to you. If I can manage it. We do have some more of the, the stam bulbs. Oh, and they actually have like a full on cooking pot. This is great. So we'll talk to you a little bit. My next batch will also be tasty. Pardon me for not noticing you. I was absorbed in preparing my next meal. Hmm, I do not recall having seen you before today. I must doubly apologize for my inattentiveness. It is the duty of a construct to field any questions that those such as yourself may have. You may post these questions to any construct. We will answer them as best as we can. Are you interested in my cooking? Cooking? Ah, you seem to be uneducated when it comes to cooking. Very well. You will learn how to create meal a meal on your own. Educate me. Cooking step one, hold the ingredients in your arms. Step two, throw them into the pot over a lit fire. Cooking complete. That is the simple version. The world of cooking can be as complex as you want. There are many possible dishes. What you make and what you what effect you gain depends on the ingredients used. Some meals are warming, others may replenish stamina. 
tiny organisms known as critters and monsters. Monster parts are not food. Save them as the base for elixirs. This information was provided by our creators, but I cannot eat. So take it with a grain of salt. Good joke. I will remain stationed here. Ask me anything you have further questions about cooking. Oh dear, it is already late. I was too absorbed in cooking to notice. I will rest until the next time bell. Do not let that dissuade, dissuade you if you have any questions. Oh, so they do sort of sleep. Oh, it's so cute. So um, I guess that's sort of the idea with the timing. Um, Let's go ahead and we can sit here. You can pass time by the fire if we wanted to. Uh, I don't really need to do that. Instead, if we bring up our food, I guess this is the best way. I know I can do this too. Um, What we can do, right, is we can either, can I hold it? I can drop it, but I can't hold it from here. I think I need to hold it from here. So this is where we can combine recipes. There's different recipes we can make, and really the best way for now to stumble across them is just to combine stuff. So maybe we want to make some fruit and meat. If we toss that in, we can cook it up. <laughs> And we get the classic tune. We got a meat skewer. All right, that's new. A juicy filling snack made by grilling small chunks on a meat skewer. Really nice. To check meals ingredients, select it from your inventory and then select check recipe. So that'll be useful if we get received some kind of meal that we want to make for ourselves. But there's plenty of things we can make. We could also try to combine um, if we hold this. I mean, if I just cook a fish, it's going to cook a fish. It's not going to be a recipe, but we could combine a fish and some meat like this. And this might make something new. I guess we'll see. Ta-da! This is meat and seafood fry, a filling dish made by cooking fresh seafood and meat together. So what happens if we combine an apple and some seafood? And this is where we can really get crazy with our imagination. Combine different things to make tons of different recipes. This time we get the fish skewer, a simple dish made by cooking chunks of fish, fresh fish on a skewer. So where did the apples go? I don't know. Maybe he ate them while cooking the fish. Uh, hard to know. But we can also, you know, use things like mushrooms. I think that if I were to get rid of those, I could also use like a stand bulb um, and an apple. There's so many things you can cook. Now, the, the meats that we've cooked only restores health, but something like this, as you'll see, ta-da, will make energizing steamed fruit. Instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. A regional dish made by steaming near ripened fruits in the leaves of fragrant plants. So as you can see with this one, not only does it restore health, but it also restores stamina, which could be really useful. So I'm gonna cook one more dish here. If we combine multiple of the same units, sometimes that can still create some kind of new dish. I guess we'll see for ourselves though. This is energizing cooked stand bulb. Instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. A wild dish of a whole steam bulb roasted with its skin on. Sweet and tasty. Very cool. So we got a lot of new recipes there. I can't find every single one of them right now, but definitely a good chunk of progress made there. So we'll be making more progress as we look around for more materials like this rush room. There's actually a few of them around, so I definitely want to try to grab some like that. Running on stamina though. And I think we will try to climb up here to get this one and then get one more over here. Then I might not try to collect as much anymore after this. Can I get up here? Oh, and here's Raru again. So we'll go talk to them. Hi, Raru. I love this view of the Temple of Time. I always took a moment to appreciate it whenever I pass by here. The Garden of Time was quiet. The only sound to be heard was the time bell, ringing in mornings and evenings. It was as if the whole place changed at its shine, especially at night, when the sound signaled the emergence of fireflies. Mm. Those were glorious times. Huh. <sighs> Okay, so I don't know if they would say anything more. They don't, but it is a great view of the temple. Whoa, yeah, it really is. That's awesome. So there's another island up here, and we got ourselves some more sky shrooms. So I guess we will sort of sneak up this way, check out what this has in store for us. But after this, we might want to start hustling over to the next shrine. Okay, so I'll grab this maybe. The, okay, that's not working. I'm gonna be a little bit closer, but I guess we can just Maybe put this here and attach it, and then raise the both of them like this. And then this third one, we don't really need to attach them, it's just an element of convenience that we can use to bring it up here. So I'll leave it like that for right now. Climb up there and then elevate it further once we're up there. Okay, let's maybe restore our stamina real quick. While we're waiting, we can do something like this. 
Perfect. Okay, so getting up here. But what is up here for us? Oh, maybe some of the fireflies that uh, Raru was talking about. See, if I sneak up on them, maybe I can catch one. I don't remember if this game has a net or if it just catch things by hand. Oh, got it. The sunset firefly. This firefly glows gently in the dark. When cooked with monster parts, the compound that causes it to glow results in an elixir that will allow you to move more quietly. That's awesome. So not only is there recipes to make, but there are elixirs to discover and create as well. So things like this will be pretty useful. And I don't know if we ever discovered, you know, every recipe for elixirs and rest of, or meals um, in Breath of the Wild, but I'll certainly do what I can in this game. And it looks like there's some more stuff to find in here. So grab some arrows, win the bow again, pick this up, drop it from high up, boom, get even more arrows. We're actually getting a ton. They're being very generous with arrows so far. I want to make the most out of that. We do get another Zonai charge. So I guess the Zonai charge technically counts as a monster part, right? So there might be some things we can cook up with that and the, uh, the fireflies to get some cool stuff. Now my curiosity is telling me to check up here because the one thing we haven't really seen too much of that was in the original game, of course, is Korok seeds. Do we have an equivalent? So far, no, but we do have some little bird eggs, a fresh bird egg, bird egg necessary for making dishes such as omelets and crepes. You can snag them from bird's nests if you're sneaky. Nutritious and delicious, perfect for cooking. So I feel really bad stealing the eggs, but it might be important for the game, so we'll take them for later. And we'll head back down this way. So, um, we might want to get some more meat because we did cook up all of ours. Ooh, scary jump. If I can just get really sneaky here. Oh, how did they hear that? They heard me like draw back the bowstring. Ah, oh, I couldn't quite hit them. Okay, we'll save her for later then. I mean, we might just be able to hunt them down. <laughs> I might just want to do things in a little bit more of a direct way. We get some raw meat. And oh no, we got one of the bad guys over here, but they're guarding a chest. Whoa, there's a ton of them. This might be a bit intense. We gotta be careful with it. If I could, just focus in a little bit. Oh no, ready and there. Oh, gotcha, good. Did they notice that? Oh, and he fell to his doom too? That's so good. So that was more of a scout kind of robot and that's really important to knock out because they would have alerted all of their friends to come attack us if they saw us. So approaching it that way was super important. And none of their other friends have noticed just yet, so maybe if I could just... Ooh. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. So I was able to knock you out before their friends saw, which means they still don't know where I'm coming from. And I think that, you know... Uh oh I think one of them might have seen me. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. They're searching, they're searching. This one's coming right over, though. Ah, hey, don't throw a rock at me, leave me alone. <laughs> okay, you definitely have seen me. Okay, let's go then. I think I might just use a wooden stick, but I do gotta be careful. Oh, no, the spin move. <laughs> that was too much. Okay. Tried to go for the super slam, didn't quite work, but I can, ow. I think that there's a button that should be parrying, right? Is it just pulling out the shield at the right time? I gotta be careful, I'm almost out of health. So let's utilize one of our first meals here. Um, Some of these restore more health than we currently have, so I don't need that much. Um, I might just eat a couple of apples then. And Link seems like he feels really refreshed. That's great, so we get a Zonai charge, so, um, Soldier Construct Horn, and look at this, we get a rusty shield. It's likely this rusty old shield once belonged to a knight. It still has some defensive capabilities, but its usefulness has been worn down by time. So we can select a different shield just by pressing left and selecting the shield we want. I wanna keep with our weaker shield for now, um, and if we have any other branches to throw, I think I should throw them away because we can get, oh no, um, something better here. No, here, there you go. Uh oh, they heard that, maybe that was a mistake, but that's also another element we can keep in mind, is that they can get distracted by things. Uh oh, well, uh, didn't make the most of it, but I can get a rusty broadsword here to, in a moment, so, you know what, catch. Oh, that's gotta hurt. All right, like, give me this broadsword, and look at that, with all the enemies in the area defeated, we open up a treasure chest. Super useful. So let's run over here, grab whatever we can. And I think if we uh, pick this up, give it a drop, boom. Okay, wait, pick it up again. Give it another drop from higher up. <laughs> there we go, much better. So we're doing so, so well in this game so far. 
obviously with our experience through breath of the wild we'll, we've been pretty prepared okay we'll drop this one and then this last one we're so many arrows from it so i'm definitely going to be a little bit more uh not as worried about my arrows i think very cool so five more arrows there let's run over this way and open up this chest we get an opal, a valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. So cool. So we're finding a lot of materials that we definitely found in Breath of the Wild, but good to see them here too. So I don't see an easy way to jump down there, but even if we did, we'd have to get across that body of water to get to the shrine. And I don't know if that would work super well. <laughs> I'm not really quite sure. So I think that we'll keep looking around splish splashing through the water there might be oh i need to reach my friend who is that wait is this is that a backpack who is this it's a korok hey this is awful where's my friend huh you can see me i'm a korok one of the children of the forest i was traveling with my friend but we got separated so there are koroks in this game my friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired though, I can't move. Is there any way I can help? Oh, my friend and I got separated. Yeah, okay, so, yep, we know about this. How can we help you reach your friend? I can just pick you up. Okay, perfect. So maybe we can make a platform for you to get across. Oh, I see. So we don't have a normal sort of wooden board this time, but what we can do is I can pull up the ax again. There we go. Sorry for making that fall on you. This is so neat. What I think we can do here is attach it like this. Pick this one up. Do the same thing over here. Attach it like this. And then grab this thing. We want to make this one nice and stable for him so he doesn't fall off. Because I really don't want to, want to do that. But we can uh, rotate it. Like this. Okay, maybe not the best spot. But it's okay. That'll actually work just fine. I'm pick this up. Bring this one over. Just try to get it as straight up as possible. And then I want to get it like that. Okay, so, well, actually, now that I'm looking at this, this might not work. I need to wiggle that one, rotate it. I probably want to, ooh, here. Can I make it in the center here if I attach it like that? Doesn't really work. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm still doing this a little wrong. That's okay. If I... There we go. A little bit to get used to, you know? Uh, if I did this, I think it would work still. It might not, we'll see. Um, I'd have to get it under. Just trying to make it as sturdy as possible. I think we just need both hooks on the same side. That's why I'm trying to attach it to the center, but it won't really let me. Maybe that's a better way to do it. Okay, now it's working, right? There we go. See, why couldn't it do that before? So silly. Do that on the side too. Go like that. And then I will rotate it so that they're both facing the same way, just for the ease of actually attaching it. Attach. Or at least actually getting it onto this railing. So I have to sort of fit it under like this and then bring it back over. There we go. We did it. So as you can see, it takes a little bit of doing, but we can make contraptions. So I would like to help you reach your friend. And I'm going to join you too. Uh-oh. Uh um... What do I do now? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, UK. I'm so sorry. I need that back. What do I do? Do I gotta make another one? Oh no. Those are the only hooks I had though. What do I do? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, my friend got, okay, he's not gonna give me any advice. Uh, oh no, I think I messed it up. I mean, hopefully we get a chance at some other time to do something about it then. I feel so bad. Oh, I just wish I could get the hooks back. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Well, maybe if I fall off, I'll get another opportunity. I don't know. So I decided to take a little rest by the fire to see if maybe that would restore it. If not, we'll leave it for later, but we do get a zone eye charge. Very nice. And I just want to break these boxes open. 
just to get a few more arrows to them. So we have a lot of arrows. We have 63 in total. So yeah, I'm, I'm I'm gonna head back over there and see if maybe the rafts and stuff restore. I really, really hope so, because if not, I'm sort of in trouble. I mean, it looks like the little Korok has gone back. It has, okay, so I'll rebuild this really quickly. Good to know, if we mess something up like that, we could just come back over. That was so silly. Oh hey, this time though, I knocked over a tree and we get ourselves a Korok frond, a mysterious leaf that looks like it might be hiding something behind it. It has some medicinal value. Attach it to a stick and, and it can be used as a fan. Very cool. So that's good, we're still finding new things. This time I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. Here we go, because what I could do, I could just glue you there. There you go, buddy. Now you're nice and safe. Um, now I want to be able to get on there with them. So I still gotta be careful here because I want to get it on this side so I can attach it. Go like this, and then it's gonna start moving in a second, so let's get on top. There we go. All right. We're moving, we are really moving. This is great. So this time we finally figured it out. And there's your friend. So let's go talk to your friend first and then we'll reunite you two. Uh, we'll also search that really quickly. Hi. I'm waiting here for my friend. My friend is over that way. I wonder what happened. Well, uh, you guys got separated. But I can help out with that. We can detach you and here's your friend. Is that good enough? There's my friend. I made it, thanks to you. He united at last, thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Korok seed times two. This small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. <laughs> and when by a bunch, I'm sure they mean a bunch It was like, what, 900 in the original game? Bye! Well, that's so cute. I'm glad I could help. Uh, we can talk to them again, too. <laughs> I made it thanks to you. Thanks for bringing my friend. You're welcome, you're welcome. It looks like we can build another one of those, which is great, because we'll need that to get down to the next part. But we might as well poke around this little island for a bit. Right, there's gotta be something cool up here. A bunch of boxes, uh, more of the hooks too, if we need those. Anything on top of this tree? Doesn't seem like it. But usually if we know there's a Korok nearby, we'll hear a little jingling noise. For that one, we didn't as much, but boom. Breaking all those open, and we get a restless cricket. A very energetic cricket. Cook it with monster parts to create a stamina recovery elixir. See, we can find bugs and stuff. I'll have to be really sneaky to do all that, but I'll work on it. In the meantime now. I think if we knock over just one tree, we should have enough to get to the other side. But honestly, maybe we could just make it. Oh wait, there's a sail too? I don't think I would. Oh, you know what? I know exactly what we ought to do. So here, let's make a quick little, attach this here. I'm pretty sure I get what we need to do here. But let's sort of figure it out together. The first thing I wanna do is make another Actually, I don't even need to. I'm overthinking this. I can just take this guy, bring it over here, and just reuse it. Save myself a little bit of work, right? But I can also use it as something. Um, yeah, we're just gonna attach this maybe like here to the side. I just need to bring this with me, is my main goal right now. So if we do that, put this on, perfect. And then we can get going, maybe. I might have to. Move it a little bit more. I don't know if we can move it while we're on top of it. There we go. This is gonna sorta of kinda of move. It's, the sail is dragging on the floor is the problem. Uh, We might go a little bit slower with the sail like that, but it's okay. And boom, we've made it. So my idea is this is how we're gonna get across the water. We can't make it across that pond because we would just run out of stamina. But with this game, we can make a raft wherever we want. Typically, we would have to rely on finding them. So that is so exciting. Before we get too far into it though, it looks like we do have an enemy to take on. Okay, I should be able to get them um, if I, oh, come on. Whatever, it's fine. I can just run up on you and then, okay. I at least confused them a little bit. And, ooh, they have a thick stick. Five damage, a thick bat cut from a large tree. It's not the sturdiest weapon, but it's heavy and it does have a bit of power behind it. So that's great. Very nice to see it. Wow, crazy. So we get a new weapon out of that one. And you can see there's more options up here to you know, just look around, but I really wanna get to this next shrine. 
Um, I think this first episode, or the second episode, is gonna be a little bit of a longer one. Just as we try to, you know, get our bearings throughout this game and stuff. Um, I don't have enough space for that, but I could probably drop one of these. There we go. Um, okay, so, yeah, with our potential raft over here, we can get over here and grab the whole thing. And what I'll like to do, right, is when I do actually maybe need a stick, because we're supposed to be able to combine a stick with a... Whoa, okay, hold on. Let's break this off. Break this one off. Get this one. No, no, no. Get the sail, just like that. Got it, okay, so we're just making a boat, a raft. A little awkward for now. It could be hard to get it to do what I want it to do. What might be better is I'll just let it lay flat. There we go, angling is very important with this because there's not like a third axis I can move it around on, which just seems like a weird choice, to be honest, in terms of like design, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. We're just going to angle things up however we can. About there. And there we go, we have our own boat. It's still a little bit lopsided, but it's good enough. So if I can pick this up and take it onto the water with me, um, that should be better, but oh man, the sun is setting. It's so pretty out. I just wanna put this on the water like this. And then, oh no, wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back, come back. Uh, I'm not ready, let me on my boat. <laughs> oh man, we almost lost it. And already the, there's a draft. I sort of wish I could have reorientated it, but I guess I could right now, right? If I were to go like this, yeah, you can see the it stops moving. Then I can move it like this. Move it a little bit ah, closer, uh, like this. Oh, uh, that's new as much as I was hoping. That still might be enough for us to get to the water then. Here's hoping, because if not, we have to sort of do all that again. And that wouldn't be so fun. But I am really getting an idea of how crazy this game is gonna be. We'll have so many options to get across things. Because we can really use these rune abilities in the last game to be super fun with it. We can solve a bunch of things in different ways, and a lot of the time I would solve things in goofy ways, or we would just find easy solutions around certain things. But in this one, I feel like that's just been ramped up so much. So I think what we'll do is right about now. We'll jump into the water. I think we'll have enough to make it to the other side, but if we run out of salmon, we can always eat some salmon meals. But hey, we made it. Now, I would like to get this to come with me. It might be too far, though. So we'll just have to leave that there for now. Maybe we can get it back at some other point, but it should be okay, right? We'll get over here and we'll go into our next shrine. Whoa, hey, look at you. Go with the little jellies. And we get the choo-choo jelly jelly. A gelatinous substance that comes from a choo-choo. It's unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental simulation will change its form. Whoa. We took on our first choo-choo there. And I think we're getting pretty darn close to our next shrine, too, so. Let's find another choo-choo. I might just want to switch to a normal sword for now. That'd be a bit better. Got it. Taking that. Grabbing more materials along the way. I'm a little scared, because I do see this guy. And there is materials for another sail to be made. Oh, no, 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 no. Did they see me? Oh, they saw me. Gotcha, oh, but not quite the direct headshot I needed. That was it, so I'm just gonna jump and slam and totally miss you. <laughs> Whoops, we do get another wooden stick. I'm full on my inventory at the moment, so I'll leave it, but if we combine that with a Korok leaf, we should be able to make a fan of some sort. That'd be cool. So, I mean, we've done some great work so far, and it looks like we're making our way closer. What is this? Oh, it's just a rock, okay. Can't really do too much with that, but here we are at our next shrine. Hmm, there's a lot to do around here. We've made it so far though. And this is the In Isa Shrine. So I guess we'll check this one out soon enough, but today's episode was great. We explored a lot of the Sky Island, and on top of that, got our first shrine done, where we used the, the Ultra Hand, which is so, so cool. And in the next episode, we'll be sure to explore more of these shrines. We have two more to go before we open up the Temple of Time. So yeah, there's a lot of work ahead of us. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.
，拜拜。